Hello, everybody. This is Alani Storytelling, and she will be right back to read the story. I'm here first to let everyone know and the parents know that the story today is My Body Belongs to Me. We are asking that parents sit along while she reads the story. Um, very good book, very well written, strong topic, but it's a book that should be read. And we feel very strongly about this topic, and Alani will be right back to read it to you. Hey guys, welcome back to Alani's Storytelling. Today I'm reading a very sensitive topic, but I think we should go over it today. And the title is called, My Body Belongs to Me. And your body belongs to you. Well, it's time to get into the story for today. Let's start. This is my body and it belongs just to me. I have knees and elbows and lots of parts you can see. And here, kind of, oops, <laughs> my doll fell. But here you can kind of see uh, what you can see on this little kit. Other parts I have are not in open view. I call them my private parts. Of course, you have them too. Mom and Dad once told me I was their little gem, and if someone hurt me, to always come to them. And if you don't tell them, you can tell a guardian you trust or a teacher. One day, when we were visiting my Uncle Johnny's house, I was playing with some toys, quiet as a mouse. My uncle's friend came over and sat down next to me and touched me in that place that no one else can see. I got so scared I froze and just stayed where I sat. I thought, this is my body. Why did he do that? And you can always think that, but it's still good to also tell an adult. He said it's our secret and told me not to tell. But I ran away real fast and then began to yell. And that's what you should do. I told my mom and dad what had just taken place. They said that I was really brave and they each kissed my face. Because it's not your fault and you should be proud of telling them that. Mom and dad said they were proud. I told them right away. It made me feel better too. They believed what I had to say. And you can see him or her smiling. I learned if I was too scared to tell my mom or dad, I could have told my teacher what made me feel so sad. Like I said, you can always tell a guardian you trust. I know it wasn't my fault and I did nothing wrong. This is my body, and I'm growing big and strong. And that's the end of today's story. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope your parents went over it with you.